What's up, everybody? I'm Brock with PDQ. Welcome back for another Patch Tuesday recap. We are in 2025, and if you were hoping that 2025 would be the year that Microsoft somehow killed off the patches, guess again, because I think they're doubling down. We've got total exploits patched 161, critical patches 12, and already known or exploited, we've got eight. So if you're wondering as far as like how the numbers go, they're not good. Let's start off with CVE 20252129 this is a Windows OLE, object linking and embedding, remote code execution vulnerability. This is basically impacting emails. We've seen this you know, a, a handful of times last year. These are malicious emails that get sent to a user if they open it up, or if it even shows up in the preview pane, it's going to impact your system. So these are scary. Microsoft even goes as far to say that you should just enable plain text on your email, which I mean, I guess could work, but your emails are gonna look ugly. So, I mean, I guess that's the price you pay, especially when you can't trust your user. So I say, instead of getting rid of, rid of patches this year, how about we get rid of email this year? I mean, I haven't checked mine in like a year, so I'm kind of already living that life, but I mean, it could happen. Let's move on, CVE 20252131. All right, this is another one of our 9.8s. This one is an elevation of privilege exploit affecting NTLM v1 not v2. So while this is considered an official fix that Microsoft recommends you deploy, they also recommend that you set your network security LAN manager authentication level in group policy to level five, which will essentially disable NTLM v1, but still allow you to use NTLM v2, which if my math is correct, is twice as good. Lastly, we've got a special treat. We've got a three for one. Instead of reading off the full things, I'm just gonna read off the last bit of the number here. It's 21333, 21334, and 21335. All right, now these are all impacting Hyper-V, okay? And we also saw this a couple times last year. This would lead to an elevation of privilege. Uh, someone could start off with like a guest account. Use this exploit to gain system privileges on your Hyper-V. So all of those people that again, switch from VMware to Hyper-V, you're welcome. Now you get to deal with this. So if you are a Hyper-V shop, definitely get this deployed and patched as soon as you can. All right, so there you have it. That's gonna wrap it up this month. We've got a lot of patching ahead of us. Hopefully this isn't a sign of things to come. I kind of feel like it is. I feel like things are just going to get worse before they get better if they ever do get better. You know, fingers crossed. We can we can be hopeful, I guess. But yeah, there you go. There you have it. If you got any questions, make sure to hit us up down in the comments down below for more PDQ content. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to carry on this conversation or ask any questions to me or the other PDQ team members, head over to discord.gg/pdq. Till next time, peace out.